Hello, my most amazing and awesome artists. Today you're going to be creating some pop art name designs. To do that, you're going to write your name on your giant piece of paper. Hold your paper vertically and don't forget your class code on the back. We are starting out with pencil. You are going to be dividing your paper in two thirds. That means in two three. So to do that, I'm going to fold both sides of my paper lightly in towards the middle so I know what creates even thirds on my paper. I don't have to crease it really hard because these are simply a guide. If you think you can do it without creasing your paper, please do by all means. Then I'm gonna create two wavy lines where I made those creases. No, not straight lines on the crease, but wavy lines. They don't have to be perfect. They can be completely wavy. Now I'm gonna start drawing my name. Now, this is where the trick is. Your letters have to touch the top line and bottom line. So you are drawing the letters of your name from the top to the bottom wavy line. You're going to separate your name into syllables. So if you have a long first name, you could just do your first name or you could fit your first and last. I did my miss and then I did a star. You could do a heart or whatever symbol after and then quick and then I'm gonna put the sol on the bottom. If your name was, for example, Antonio, you would use three syllables, an tone eo If your name was Samuel, you would do sam U L. So you're gonna separate it into syllables. So sound it out and count how many syllables your name has in it. Then you can do that on your paper. So if your name is Marissa, ma ri sa you would separate that as you're going. When you're finished separating your syllables and making sure that your letters reach the top and bottom of your squiggly lines, then you can use an ink marker to outline them very carefully. Remember, ink markers are permanent. They also can make a big mess. So the number one rule about the ink bottles is do not squeeze the bottle. Then carefully trace your pencil lines. It's super important that when you're working with pencil, you're drawing light, light, light till you get it right. If you press too hard, it's going to be very hard to erase. So I would suggest starting very lightly and slowly in pencil until you get it how you want it to go over with ink. When you're working with ink, I'm working super slow. This video is even sped up a little bit. I, if I have extra room, I can add some symbols, but I'm only keeping it simple because next week we'll go back and add a lot of bright colors, lines, designs, patterns, fun new materials. We're going to use oil pastels and paint and they're going to look awesome. But today is all about getting that simple syllable sounded out on those three different lines of your paper. So make sure you separate it into thirds by drawing those two squiggly lines. Make sure your letters reach the top and bottom of each line. You're going to really stretch them out. Sound out your name into syllables. So break it up into three different parts. However that is, if your name's short, you can break it up into your first name and last name. And then when you're done with the pencil, you can trace over it with your ink marker. But remember, don't squeeze your ink marker or you will have a big puddle of ink. You only get one piece of paper. So make sure you're working slowly and carefully today. You only get one. If you make a mistake in pencil that you can't erase, well, you can turn it over and try again. But you cannot get a new paper. So before you start with ink, make sure it's just how you want it. All right, artists, when you're finished today, you're going to put these on the drying rack. Remember, if you get ink on your table, it makes a really big mess. It's important that instead of leaving it on your table for somebody to put their hand or arm or shirt into, you use an art wipe to clean it up. Yes, it's hard to clean up ink, but if you get it on your table, just wipe it up. It's going to be better than getting on your clothes. And because we are using ink, you will want to wear an apron before you start out today. I need to approve your picture and your drawing of your letters before you get your ink bottle. So once you finish all the first steps, then I'll give you your ink bottle to start. You'll put it on the drying rack when you're done, and then we'll make these colorful and pop art next week. All right, artists, have fun today.